Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be making a super delicious creamy mushroom soup and it's not the mushroom soup that you guys are probably used to. Uh, it's got a little bit of a kick, a little bit of spices and it's simply delicious. But if you're new to this channel, be sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be the first to know. But anyway, let's get started with this soup. So first of all, I have one pound of cremini or baby bella mushrooms and this is what they look like. Now these mushrooms are darker in color than your uh, white button mushrooms. And uh, the white button mushrooms, usually when you cook them, they cook down a lot more than these. And these kind of hold their shape and they hold their bulk, which we're gonna need for our soup. So again, one pound of these, I washed them and I just trimmed off the edges and sliced them like this. And now let's get over to our stove and we're gonna finish off the soup. So I have a heavy soup pot here on my stove and in the pot I have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna go ahead and let that heat up. Okay, so our oil and butter looks pretty hot and we'll go ahead and add the mushrooms. Give them a good stir so that all that butter and oil coat the mushrooms. And my flame right now is a little bit, not all the way high, but uh, medium high. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this. Mix it well and keep sauteing this until the mushrooms get nice and caramelized. And be sure you keep stirring. And you'll see a lot of liquid comes out of the mushrooms and that's perfectly fine. But we're gonna wait till all that liquid disappears and then the caramelization begins. So our mushrooms look amazing. If you can see, they're nice and caramelized. They're not burnt, but they have a nice golden color to it. And now what we're gonna do is just kind of push them off to the side a little bit. And you can actually see that there's oil at the bottom of the pan. And so in the oil, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I have a half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns and about four whole cloves like this. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. I also have a piece of cinnamon, one bay leaf, and I have one tablespoon of chopped garlic, half of a medium onion, and I'm going to mix it a little bit so that onion catches the oil at the bottom. And finally, I have about two to three stalks of celery, uh, depending on how big your celery stalk is, but it's about eight ounces. And finally, go ahead and give that a complete mix. And once again, I'm gonna salt it just a little bit. And this is completely optional, but I do like it a little spicy, so this is one teaspoon of red chili flakes. And we're going to cook this for just about two to three minutes until you see the onions and the celery starting to get little translucent. Okay, so our celery and onion are starting to look really nice and translucent. Looks perfect. And this is the perfect time now to add water. Now I went ahead and used my uh, little uh, kettle here, electric kettle, to heat up the water. It just saves a lot of time on the stove. But if you don't have one of these, then feel free to just put the water in there and then let it come to a boil. But here we go. We're gonna add about five cups. And see how it's already coming to a boil? It saves you a lot of time on the stove. So once your mixture does come to a boil, go ahead and put the lid on the pot and then continue to boil it for about 10 minutes. So I know a lot of people use vegetable stock uh, or chicken stock or some kind of stock in their soups. And that's a great idea as well. And if you have stock, you can definitely do that. Uh, the reason I'm adding water is because I have a lot of onions and a lot of celery that actually has the flavor of a stock. So normally when you buy, say, vegetable stock from the store, that's how they make the stock, is they boil a bunch of onions and celery and uh, various other vegetables. But uh, because I go ahead and grind everything up, which we're gonna be doing in a little bit, there's no actual need for vegetable stock, but if you have it and you wanna use it, then that's absolutely fine. 
Okay, so let's check in our soup. It's been about 10 minutes. Look at that. If you can notice, the celery and the onions actually look like they're cooked. And uh, you can actually try it out also. If they're really crunchy, then go ahead and cook it a little bit more, but they should be nice and tender. And at this point, we're gonna switch off the stove. And you can let the mixture cool down a little bit uh, because we are gonna be grinding it and it's super boiling hot right now and it's pretty dangerous because it'll splatter all over you. So you can let it cool down a bit and then put it inside your grinder, hopefully you have a really good blender, and then grind that up. All right, so the soup has cooled down just a little bit now and uh, I have my blender here. So what I'm gonna do first in my blender is we're using cream cheese for this recipe to make it creamy and I have four ounces of cream cheese. I'm gonna put it at the bottom and then put the hot liquid on top so that it helps melt that really fast. And here we go. Now, if you remember, we put a cinnamon stick as well as a bay leaf in the soup. And if you have a really good blender, uh, mine's like a Vitamix and it pulverizes everything. You can actually leave the bay leaf in there and it'll just flavor the soup. But the cinnamon stick, we can find it somewhere here. Here it is. We wanna go ahead and remove the cinnamon stick because that does not need to be blended. And the rest of the soup goes in the blender. Now you may or may not have to do two batches depending on how big your blender is. And once it's blended, we're gonna pour it back into the pot. And if you can notice, it's nice and smooth and completely blended. All the whole spices that we put in there are also nice and mixed in. And we're gonna turn the stove back on. And I'm gonna go ahead and add about half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now this is to taste, so if you like it super creamy, you can even add more. Or if you wanna cut back, then feel free to do that. The mushroom is already pretty creamy with that cream cheese in there. And mix that through. And this is also a perfect time to check the salt as well and adjust it. And as a final step, once that cream is completely heated through, I've got some lemon, fresh lemon. And this is optional, but that little bit of tartness to the mushroom soup, it really adds a lot of flavor. So again, this is to taste. Just squeeze a little bit in there. Just catching all the seeds in here. and mix that through. So go ahead and switch that stove off and it's ready to serve. So it is time to try this super delicious mushroom soup. Mm. It is so creamy and so silky. It's delicious. And a lot of times mushroom soups are kind of on the bland side because mushrooms don't have a, a wow flavor to them all by themselves but the addition of the black pepper and the cloves and a little bit of cinnamon, it really, really amplifies the flavor of these mushrooms. So I hope you get to try this out. So if you like this recipe, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also ring that bell button so you will be notified every time there's a new video. But remember, it is easy to keto if you know how. Thanks for watching, bye.